Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. Tonight we are talking about some of my favorite things on the planet. We're talking about some bomb burgers. Let's talk about some of the bomb burgers I know about. Big Mac, Double Quarter Pounder, Baconator, Double Baconator, Triple Baconator, Whopper, Double Whopper, Six Junior Whoppers, Five Guys with all the supplies, The Six Dollar Burger from 2003, Everything from Hardee's, McDouble, The Rodeo Burger, The Frisco Burger, The Thick Burger, The Sick Burger, that's what I call a thick burger. It's a sick burger. Whatever Sonic sells with their super sugary drinks, I'll eat them. But tonight we're not talking about any of those burgers. Tonight we're talking about a different bomb burger. We're talking about friggin' bomb burgers. I've never even looked at the label of this bottle. So all I know is bomb burgers. Do I know the proof? No. Do I know the age? Uh-uh. Do I know if it states the age? Not a clue. All I know was this was a gift from Dan and Julie Like, Julester and Dan Omite. Thank you so much for this friggin' gift. You gift given sons of bitches. You both look good. Real good. <laughs> now, down to press tax. Or silver tits, as we like to say. This Patreon cork pop shout out goes out to a man who's married to a woman who if we're a man would be considered the man, but she's not, she's a woman, so she's not the man. The man is her husband, and his name rhymes with man. His name is Dan, and I friggin' like Dan. I like Dan a lot. I like Dan so much that I'm just gonna call him Dan Like. You amazing tan tattooed son of a bitch. Thanks for being so good to me, and so good to the planet with your stylish looks and super sexy socks. You space cat sock wearing son of a bitch. If I've called you a son of a bitch five times already, well, consider it six, you son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. That's a lot, that's way too much. This comes from Michter's. That's all I know is this is a Michter's release. It uh, comes with a sister or brother or cousin bottle. It's Shanks, and the, the, the like family also sent me a bottle of that, so Shanks. This is a Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, Bomberger's Declaration. Huh. Declaration. Declarate. What does it mean to declarate? I know what it means to decorate, and they decorated this bottle pretty fancy. This is a 2020 release, 108 proof, 54% alcohol by volume. Bottle number 1607 of 1738. There's a horse and buggy on there. There's a guy with a little leaf pen from the 1933s with a feather, because it's not a leaf, it's a feather. And then down here it says, small batch, Kentucky straight bourbon. <sighs> I'm getting on the nose is a pancake with no syrup on it. It's like literally a pancake you took off the griddle and if you were to smell it without syrup. A fresh pancake, uh, maybe a double stack or a triple stack pancake with no syrup. Could also be like a, like a multi-grain Cheerio, kind of in the same ballpark there. Or maybe like a honeycomb cereal too. There's some sweet oak now. Some sweet oak. Unbuttered, unsyruped pancakes. Or maybe buttered but unsyruped. Who's to say? <sighs> a bourbon. Friggin' love bourbon so much. It's sharp. This is a fresh neck pour, so I'm not gonna judge it too much. But on the shanks, it got the same thing. Um, on some bourbons and some whiskeys, they're a deep, dark flavor and a deep, dark feeling to them. They coat the mouth in a deep, dark way. 
and if they were to sing, they would sing in a low tone like lol. This is different. It stings the tongue, it coats the mouth in a higher pitched way, and it's not like it's unpleasing, it's just a different experience when you sip it. And it's more of a yeah, like a higher pitch. The color on it is like a honeycomb. Honey, dark honeycomb, bro. It's like a, yeah, maybe darker than that. 108 proof, it drinks like 108 proof. The nose is like a, a high pitched oak. I know I don't make any sense, but welcome to ADHD whiskey. My name is Matt. There's gotta be some age on here because I am getting significant amount of oak on the nose. The nose is good. The nose is nice. It's starting to, after maybe some air, it's starting to get a little bit more fancified. The oak is really starting to jump out of the glass. The pancakes are now syruped, for sure. Huh, why am I not loving it? The nose seems to seems to me to be better than the palate on the neck pour. Now let's keep in mind, it's the first pour out of the bottle, so we can't judge it entirely. If the neck pour on a bottle is really, really good, that leads me to believe that the rest of the bottle will be really, really good. This has some explaining to do. Why are you not that good? What What's going to make you, should I just take the cap off it and let it breathe? And do that. There we go. America. It's not my favorite thing right off the bat. I'm not like super, 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 super pumped about it. Uh, but it's something that I feel like I could go to on a specific night or I could come back to in a month and it could be way better. If you made it this far in the video and haven't hit subscribe yet, then your mother's middle name is Jackass. Because you should have hit subscribe a long time ago. And I'm so sorry I said that about your mom. It's not true. My middle name is Jackass for saying that. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on being honest, even if it's a gift. And then going to get some bomb-ass burgers from a bomb-ass burger joint. Or just dreaming about them because you're too drunk to drive. Whichever one. There's always grub up.